Well, South Carolina is seeing record high COVID-19 case numbers right now. A state reported almost 9,000 cases today, surpassing the previous record from January. State health officials are urging people to be cautious, especially ringing in the new year tonight. Our Kylie Jones is joining us live from a testing site in Greenville with more. Kylie. Yeah, Nigel, doctors are expecting those numbers to keep going up into the new year. The testing site here at McAllister Square in Greenville closed early today for the holidays. It'll be back open according to DHEC's website Sunday morning. As the Omicron variant continues to spread, people have been flocking to testing sites. Here's a look at the lines here earlier today. COVID-19 case numbers at a high and tests in high demand. When I see 9,000 cases, I am very concerned. South Carolina DHEC reported a COVID testing rate of more than 25% Friday. We are looking to not only add testing sites, we are looking to increase the capacity and decrease the waiting times, so increase the throughput at our existing sites. State health officials are also looking to make at-home tests more accessible. Most cases now, doctors say, are in people ages 21 to 40. Our hospitals are managing the load um, and doing well. It is putting strain on their staff, though, and I'm very concerned about our, our health care workers. Um, I think what we are seeing, though, is that the emergency departments and the urgent care centers are starting to get a bit overwhelmed. With more cases expected in the new year, Dr. Edward Simmer says that strain on the health system could grow. We have the way out of this crisis. If everyone gets vaccinated, if everyone gets the booster when they're eligible, we will still have cases. We will still have breakthrough cases, but the number would be much smaller. The severity would be less. Health officials say they have no plans of closing restaurants or schools, however, urging people to get vaccinated and wear a mask with hopes of driving numbers down over the next few weeks. The vaccination is the solution, and if everyone were vaccinated, we would not be here today. And doctors are encouraging people to take advantage of those at-home tests, acknowledging a small margin of error, they say. In the at-home tests, they do add the test can be accurate when done correctly, adding that early detection is the key. Live in Greenville, Kylie Jones, WYFF News 4.